Well, good morning folks and welcome back to the channel and the allotment. Um, over this last week I have been quite busy on the plot as you can see. Um, busy rearranging it, getting all the tomatoes up, um, getting the potatoes out because I didn't want to leave them in too much longer with the damp weather that's um, obviously going to be on its way and also busy thinking about what I should do with regards to this bottom plot and I've made a decision um, I don't like to dwell on things you know I always think that if there's a doubt then you know there must be something in that so I have decided to give up this back plot even though it's gonna create me a hell of a lot of work. I spoke to the committee yesterday. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, our renewal point is this weekend and next weekend. Uh, so I spoke to the committee, um, the chair and the vice, and asked if I could pay for six months um, on, this, on this back plot. Um, because what I didn't want is that mad rush to try and get off in, in a couple of weeks. It would have just, it would have just been virtually impossible. Because as you know, I've got my wood shelters that you can see there. Um, two of them absolutely ram full with logs, which are going to need to be accommodated on the other plot. So it wasn't too much of a difficult decision, to be honest. Um, and I've started the process of moving already so let's crack on and I'll show you what's going to be happening um, on the new plot yeah the a number of reasons why I asked for the six months um, is because obviously my compost bays are full so I'm hoping at the end of the six months the stuff that's in that which will be turned into that and then eventually into this will be ready to go onto my front plot um, whoever takes the plot after me um, are going to have some decent strong compost bins to start off with but this stuff is nearly ready in fact that stuff is ready so I'll get that stuff out and then I can start the process of turning them into each other so yeah a lot to do not only have I got the logs to um, move around the back have all that to sort out um if i'm honest i might just do half of that and give martin my plot neighbor the other half uh, makes it easier so i've started to think about how things are going to go um i'll show you where these are going to go when i get further up the plot um i'm going to get my son and son-in-laws down um, and my daughters um, and I'll get my van I'll fill it up to the rafters with the wood and get it shifted but one of the things that I'm going to do first is get two new log stores built I think that's a priority so we'll just move further up the plot I'll walk you through there's been some changes already once I make my mind up I make my mind up so as you can see over here the raised beds has gone i've taken the soil out that were in it obviously i've left the soil on the surface um, but it were all good stuff there's another one gone here these three are going to be gone today martin my plot neighbor is going to be taking the shed um we'll collapse that down put it in my van and take that round for him these are all things that are going to happen um the main things are this shed going, those log stores built, and this greenhouse moved. <coughs> the lean to, um, the only reason I want to take that down is there's some great scaffold boards at the back of there, and I might as well use those on my raised beds that need repairing. I think there's about 
10 scaffold boards high at the back, all full length. So um, that's the only reason I'm going to take that down, otherwise I'd have left it. So a bit crazy, I know, all that hard work that I've put in. But, you know, sometimes realisation sets in and you've got to be realistic. Um, the coal frame won't be going, that'll stay. Um, so somebody can benefit from that and may have to do one or two repairs. Right, let's take you down the plot. We'll go this way. As I mentioned to you before, there was a hell of a lot of work needed doing and I've started that now. All these beds here have been cleaned. I've managed to get in on the sprouts and pull those bottom few leaves off, let a little bit of air circulation get in there. Hazel, thank you very much, people. Um, apparently this is a hazel. I have no idea how that got there. It must have been mislabeled, but I think that'll have to come off, come out. As I've done again, these beds are clear. Now you may remember over there, that was the big bed that had the sweet corn in. What I've done, as part of the adjustments to trying to put two plots into one, I've made that into two beds. So I have split it down, put two boards on either side and created a path. So I've now got two beds rather than the one. The only thing that's left on this plot now is my fennel which you know I all love. Just look at that there on the tops. If you look right over the top of that, it's stunning stuff. So that's gonna stay for now. And I've got a little bit of, um, what's that called again? Basil in. So that's okay, and obviously the leaks. Now this is where the changes have happened. I've taken out all the potatoes, which were over there and in that corner and now you can start to see what i've done here there used to be a large bed similar to this one on there and what i've done is i've started to bring my raised beds around and i've incorporated a raised bed area i had some um wood chip dropped off so what I've done is the plastic was already down. If you remember, the tomatoes were here. Um, I stripped all the tomatoes back um, and they're all in the greenhouse, um, the green tomatoes. Um, and rather than taking the plastic up, I've left the plastic down and then just cut out the beds. So now we've got one area. Now what's going to happen is this is where that carrot bed is going to move over behind that formium and into that bed. So this whole area here is going to be my utility area, if you like. So there's going to be a few compost bins down the front edge here. Where that is, there's going to be a square of flags where I'll put my fire bin. And then I've got a little bit of room here for any logs that I get dropped off. They can just pull up at the side of the track here and I can offload into this area. And what I'm going to do is the log store is going to be built in here. So all these plants are going to come out. The log store roof is going to be up to the height of the top of the pergola and come all the way along and come down. And as you can see from here, it will be the same width as the pergola. Um, which is about a metre. So it'll be about a metre wide by two and a half metres high. And there'll be one on this side. So all this back here will be covered. All the way across here. These are going to get emptied. I'm going to use the soil, take the, the bulbs out, everything else. I need to do that quite soon. Take the bulbs out of both of these. Um, take all the um, 
Montbrecia out of there or Crocosmia out of there and then use the compost to fill some of the raised beds but I've got plenty of um, stuff around the other side to fill those beds and then again this will be the same so here will be another um, log store and then on this side as I say the carrot bed will be down here and there'll be more raised beds in this area there's a saging amongst those weeds believe it or not um, yeah so there'll be a similar sort of raised bed area on this bed here and that'll leave me three large beds one here across the way and the one with the leaks in which will allow me to use those for potatoes and allow me to have a good sort of three year rotation um, but yeah everything is looking tidy um, this side will always now look tidy um, it's the back side where I'm going to have to create the mess to get everything moved over I started to part fill the first um, raised planter and then realised um, off a job that we did I've got a load of plastic very similar to that stuff over there um, so what I'm going to do before that is I'm going to line these out and it'll just give them a little bit of a longer shelf life um, walking back up the plot the greenhouse on the back I am thinking of placing you can see the greenhouse there and my shed here I'm thinking of losing this bed and putting my greenhouse across here um, and the reason that I want to do that is if it's in front of my shed then I know it's glass but you know it may provide you know a little bit of cover um, on a night time you know when the thieves are up and down this path here it might just block out the sighting of the shed and they may walk straight past you never know um, but that's my thoughts um, obviously these conifers are going to come down in half they only should be cubes then but my um, hedge cutters have been in the menders quite a while now so I need to get that sorted out and then I can get those down but yeah that's where the greenhouse is going to go and what that'll do is create a nice sheltered from the wind sitting area just in front of the shed so as you can see I've got an absolute stack of green tomatoes so I'm going to be getting on to um, a friend of mine who does the chutneys and see if she wants one of these cases and I'll take one myself and I've still got some around the back of me and behind the camera um, these are the potatoes King Edward these ones a um, little bit of wire worm damage but not, not too much really um, so I've got two full baskets of those and another two baskets on the top there so I've just left them in here to dry um, it's quite a rainy day today so it might be that these tomatoes come down now I'm going to start, start and harvest the sunburst squash which are quite a decent -ish size if anybody out there have got any good um, recipes and ways to cook this um, different to how I do we sometimes uh, take the tops off fill them with mince and bake them um, but if anybody's got any other ideas of how we can use these then 
please leave me a comment in the comments box below um, as you can see I've got two big um, one large bed and one two three four another four raised beds down this side and then obviously I've got where the parsnips normally go and the carrots and strawberries so there's quite a lot of soil um, that I can get into there and again all the compost that I've made down in the compost bay so yes work cut out I'll carry on getting these in what a glorious day we had yesterday it was absolutely stunning oops absolutely stunning um got quite a lot done quite a lot of people down at the plot as well yesterday obviously as i said to you earlier on it's um renewal point and you know it winds me up a little bit all of a sudden there's a hive of activity on the plot um and people are coming down and paying and you're thinking to yourself well i ain't seen you for a year there's a guy a bit further well i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say i've not seen him for two years and it must have been that the renewal point last year i want here when they came um, and he was here um, him and his wife and um, his daughter were here uh, tidying up the plot and I'm thinking to myself you know what's the point of having an allotment if you're not going to come down and use it you know it's like me now with this you know I know that I'm not going to use this plot but I need six months to shift it over but once it's done this plot will be left in a really good condition for somebody to just walk onto and get digging you know all they have to do is buy some timber and where the raised beds have gone from make some little raised beds up and they're away you know um i'm hoping that when i've gone and i move on to that plot we get somebody decent on this side and um things will this plot will thrive again right let's crack on The only other thing that I'm um, bothered about, <coughs> sorry about that, that's um, it's a sidearm shrub cutter in the factories at the back there. The only other thing that I'm worried about is the fruit trees. Now, I put these six fruit trees in. It's got to be probably about 18 months, two years. Did I film that? I don't think I did, so it might be about two years. So, I don't think there's any chance of moving these without killing them. So, I'm going to have to leave those ones, um, these six. But the two that I put over there and this one here, um, my mother-in-law's, um, I'm going to... I only put them in beginning of this season out of a pot. So I should be able to get those two out. So fingers crossed that that goes well, because obviously they were my mother-in-law's. Um, the only other thing that I'm a bit disappointed about is I won't be able to grow as many flowers because obviously reducing it down to one plot, you need the growing space. But I think I am gonna dedicate a couple of beds to flowers and I'll show you where I'm gonna do that. On my way up there, I just noticed this cabbage. It's as round as a football. If you look at my foot, compared to that, it's a beauty. This bed has done really well. I think I planted this bed first and this one second. And it might be that we'll be able to get through these sort of like in that order. Right, up to where I'm going to put the flower beds. So this is where I'm thinking of putting the flower beds. Um, obviously there's the shed and the greenhouse just there. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna devote these three beds to flowers. Um, cosmos, that's obviously my fennel. That's gotta go somewhere. Um, yeah, and as I say, these um, conifers will be really pruned down to half that size. So when you sat on the lawn and on the patio, you know, you get the benefit of having the flowers there. So 
by doing that it still leaves me with 12 of these beds here as you can see and it'll leave me with three large beds the leaks that one in the background there and that one there plus two container areas this one and eventually this one here there's only me and my wife and the kids so i think that that'll be suffice right, let's make his way back up to the shed i think it's time for a brew and then it's gonna be jackets off and do a bit because i've got to get back home I've got somebody coming to do a little bit on the house again um, and I want to put my feet up and watch a bit of football let's get that kettle on I'm just going out there to fill my kettle up and Seems they've turned the water off for the winter. I think that's a little bit premature, but I have enough there for two cups probably. Right, so as you can see, I've got my work cut out there, um, but um, I think it's the right decision, and I think that it will benefit me in the long run um, I've had quite a hectic time at work I've mentioned it to one or two of the subscribers um, where I had a huge court case with a local authority um, I won't go into it too much but if you google Instaplanter Yorkshire Limited versus Leeds City Council there's everything out there on the World Wide Web that will inform you of the battle that I've had for the last 10 years um, and still having. So I need to get as much stress out of my life. I need to get as much into a position where whatever I'm doing, it's nice, it's easy and it brings no stress. Having the plot at the back, um, I remember what, how long have I had it? I've probably had it about three years, something like that, four years. Um, and yeah, back in the day then, it were, it were great and that, you were keen and you were... I'm still keen, but I just want to condense it. It were running away with me a little bit. The fact as well that it floods, as it does, doesn't help. So, I think... Um, I've made the right decision and let somebody else get on there and let somebody else use it um, so what I'm going to do after this brew is I intend to go into that greenhouse get the rest of the tomatoes out I'm going to go chumping for some wood chumping for you people not um, from the UK is a term used when we go looking for wood on bonfire night um, so I need some wood to get in my burner and plenty of wood as well to burn off all those tomatoes and, and the weeds and everything that I've pulled up. I'm going to do that and the greenhouse and then I'm going to call it a day. I'd like to thank everybody that watches these videos. It really is appreciated and those new subscribers that have come on in this last week or so, um, thank you very much for that. If you're watching and you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You know, it really does help the channel. Um, and also, if you want to know when my videos are on, you can hit the bell, the notification bell. Um, and that will let you know when I upload another video. Um, last word to Danny from the Grow Up channel. Um, Danny, I definitely have made it my ambition to be on one of your lives. Um, but I'm alright doing this. Because it's, um, let's say we can edit it live. Well, I don't know, but I'll definitely be giving it some thought and when I pluck up the courage, I'll let you know. But thank you very much for the invite. Right, guys, I'm finishing this. I'm getting some work done. 
and I'm on my way. So thank you very much for watching. Everybody take care and happy growing.